Nashville was in our bucket list for a very long time. There are a lot of movies and series where Nashville is referred to. We were really waiting to try the legendary Nashville hot chicken and enjoy the vibes of Hong Kong. We started from Philly, stayed over in Knoxville and reached Nashville around 1 p.m. Nashville is known as the hot chicken capital. So what can be better than Princess Hot Chicken to kick off this trip? Princess has been serving this famous fiery chicken for over 70 years and even bagged awards along the way. Since the early 2000s, new restaurants have popped up specializing in hot chicken. But this is the place where it all started. We are going to try Princess Hot Chicken. This place is the originator of the dish and uh, so we wanted to try this one first. Start from here. So are we going to try the XX hot or X hot or the medium one? We will try both but better to be safe with the medium one. So let's check in how the actual authentic originator hot chicken really is. I am warming up to have more chicken because this is the princess hot chicken. <laughs> Miss Andrew Prince is the current owner of Princess, who is the niece of James Thornton Prince, the grandfather of Nashville hot chicken. There is an interesting story here. The hot chicken started with the idea of taking revenge. Mr. James Thornton came home late one night. The woman he was living with served him the spiciest fried chicken out of anger. But Mr. James liked it so much that he thought of starting a business out of it. There are now over 15 restaurants in Nashville that serve hot chicken dishes and the trend is continuing to gain momentum. Extra hot seems scary. Round one. It's not a good 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 one. Which is not correct. Round two. Go at XX. We need to see if we survive after eating this or we need to rush to a hospital. 
uh, it doesn't have the flavor it's too hot that's fine if anyone wants to eat hot okay so the reason but it's is not. Uh, as this is very hot you can't feel mm. any other taste because mm -hmm. it's overpowered I like this one. It's a bit salty. Uh, salt is added more to to balance the heat. So now you know who can eat more hot food. Anyone who is not used to spicy food. Will cry. You can see tears coming out of my eyes because it's super. So we are back in our car after having two spicy chicken, two different level of spicy chicken. One was medium, another one was extreme hot. I now understand what is the origin of the dish. I like the spicy one more. So maybe I would prefer something in between medium and extreme hot. I was expecting a little more because uh, I mean there was a lot of queue and uh, we waited for around 45 minutes to one hour. So yeah, and I expected more because there are two best chicken place they talk about. One is Princess and the second one uh, Hattie Bees which will go tomorrow and we now know how Princess made the chicken. We will test Hattie Bees and then we'll have a comparison how okay. both of them come together. We are now heading towards the Parthenon which is in Centennial Park, Nashville. This is the world's only full-size replica of the original Parthenon of Greece. You guys must be wondering like I was, why is the replica in Nashville? So the answer is, today's Nashville is known for its music. But earlier, Nashville was known as the Athens of the South because of its large number of universities like Tennessee State, Vanderbilt, Lipscomb, etc. Nashville was one of the most polished and cultured cities of the South. The Parthenon adds up to Nashville's image as Athens. It was built in 1897 as a part of Centennial Exposition while celebrating Tennessee's 100 years. Anyone can spend good amount of time outside the building as the park is so huge, green and cool. It has some nice ponds and trails as well. We are really impressed by the art and architecture. Inside the Parthenon, there is a full scale replica of the original statue of Athena. The recreation of the 42 feet statue is the focus of the Parthenon. Unfortunately, we couldn't go inside as it was closed for maintenance. It gets closed pretty early on weekends, so plan accordingly. This is a nice relaxing venue and I highly recommend this spot as this can be a great daytime activity in Nashville. We turned back to hotel. We wanted to avail public transport to get into Honky Tonk. So we chose a hotel close to the spot. So we got ready before the blast of neon jazzy lights of Honky Tonks. We are just outside our hotel and we are waiting for the Uber. Bring it this. We are off to Honky Tonk Highway. No trip to Nashville is complete without Honky Tonk Highway. It's a definite experience someone should have.
So what are honky tonks? They are the bars or dance halls where country music is played live and free. The Honky Tonk Highway is a row of honky tonks in Lower Broadway where live music is played from 10 a.m. to 3 a.m. This is the starting of honky tonks. People remember Nashville for its flamboyant impression, which is very similar to Las Vegas. So people call it Nash Vegas as well. Nashville is for both type of people who want to go to the museums, get to the core of history or the nighttime party people who are into fun nightlife. We are somewhat both. There is normally no cover fee because the music is constantly live. The artists are compensated by gratuities left by guests. The over 21 age limit is usually not enforced until 7 pm or 8 pm. So we could see people of almost all ages honky tonking around. These venues always have a chance to host a renowned performer as a surprise visit. The lively nightlife of Honky Tonk Highway is a must-have experience for party lovers. We have been to Vegas but feel the crowd here is more youthful and homely. You can walk up and down the street and just hop in and out of any bar until you find a spot of music and vibe of your taste. There are bootstorms, relaxing dances and sing-alongs. It's like a big wild bachelorette is going on. We never experienced this type of good quality live country music. Our rideshare driver gave us few recommendations of local favorite bars. Tutsi was one of them. First, we are checking into Tutsi's. It's a traditional honky tonk and is at the top of our list. On November 7, 2010, Tutsi has celebrated its 50th anniversary. It's still occasionally home to the legendary stage and radio show The Grand Old Opry. Also, part of the movie Coal Miner's Daughter was filmed here. Jason Aldean, Taylor Swift, Keith Urban, Aerosmith, Randy Hauser, and Toby Keith are just a few of numerous artists who have performed here. This place has hosted and raised many country music legends. Perron Young, Charlie Pride, Patsy Klein, Loretta Lynn, to name a few, and is grooming many of Music City's stars of tomorrow. The overall vibe has a genuine traditional honky tonk feel. The old school Nashville vibe. Top floor bar is spacious. Rooftop view is amazing too. We 
we got a chance to dance and have fun. Next is the stage. The performance of the band is very impressive. got a table right away. Maybe next time we visit Honky Tonk, I want to come for a morning cup of coffee to enjoy the music and soak in that vibe as well. interacting well with the crowd. We love the stage so much that we have decided to come back tomorrow as well. Nice atmosphere here as well. We were able to get a pretty good seat with an okay view of the bank. We stayed back for a couple of songs. First floor has nice live music, second floor is rocking with great DJ, good music, good crowd. Next up, we are in queue for Honky Tonk Central. It has a good mix of beautiful music with the constant parade of bachelorette. You get the vibe that is spot on. We are planning to grab some dinner here. It is a three-story building featuring pub beats and country music. Each floor has its own live music. This place has a brilliant corner location with sides that open up onto the street. I love the balconies to look down at the crowds walking along Broadway. We ordered food and it's a typical bar food. The fried catfish is good and hot chicken is okay. This place is recommended by locals. We heard rock, bluegrass as well as country. Next is Lubi's Honky Tonk. The entrance itself gives a roadhouse vibe. We love the hanging convertible. This place has an impressive atmosphere. The music hooked us in from the street. The rowdy taker and cool hangings make this place very unique. Notice the silver dollar. The bar is the longest bar in Nashville and it's covered with 10,000 silver dollars.
this was not in our list as there were not many recommendations but we think this deserves a mention among the top ones and this is the final honk tonk of the night only red it's a multi floor bar as well different floors offer different vibes i heard lookout is the best a must visit for any big shelter fan because he owns it. He's actually playing in town tomorrow. I don't know. He's playing on his stage tomorrow, so uh, I'm excited. It has a quirky quaint decor. The hanging tractor looks really cool. On busy times, I will always choose this as there will be room to move around. As the balcony is great to watch the same band, we just grabbed a spot here. The live music stage is large and the live performance is good as well. Not too crowded and everyone can enjoy the show. Now I know why Nashville is a place that will get in your blood and stay forever.